Our Help Wanted 2 insider information tells us multiple in-game secrets regarding release information that start us with a new trailer to highlight expectations for what we have for this upcoming VR installment. Gameplay is expected to go hand in hand with reports of a PlayStation state of play, most likely meant to be occurring sometime in the month of September. Meaning it makes sense we'd also correlate this to the PSVR 2 game that already has enough development work completed in order to grant playtesters access to three physical minigames set to make an appearance. Which leads us into another huge secret. Within one of the main tech demo preview minigames for the VR sequel, we're given an interesting one in particular that might even be a hint at the main theme of the entire game. It's a level in which you're responsible for fixing a number of circuit boards and fuses while fighting off the moon version of Eclipse, which I believe means we're set on a sort of ruin base for some of the levels in particular. This specific early access level is officially titled Carousel, however, and grouping that together with another confirmed minigame that ties to a similar amusement park style theme means we can expect the potential of a carnival theme to be present throughout the whole game. And a big secret about that is that it's literally something alluded to in the hidden files of the game that comes right before it in the timeline. The Security Breach DLC, of course. One of the white box maps goes by the same carnival name and little easter eggs connect us to the idea of a future installment, just like this one, that focuses on giving us a carnival style theme throughout its gameplay. A huge aspect of the VR games within the franchise is the focus on the main antagonist, Glitchtrap, which we now know to be associated with the Mimic software. With uncertain circumstances involving what happens next with Glitchtrap, the Mimic software story, we're unable to figure out exactly what, just kidding, we found it. The Mimic software is definitely meant to make a reappearance here. Again, this huge piece of the VR game puzzle we have information about early stems from a different tech demo preview minigame level that features one of our more carnival style additions. Within this early access demo called Bonkabon, you're tasked with bonking Bonbon and Bonnet with a hammer with the addition of Helpy and Funtime Freddy. The plush babies are also present in order to make sure you keep having nightmares about them, but the most important aspect of this game happens to be the presence of arcade machines. But not just any arcade machines, specifically ones that are shown glitching in the background. Hmm. In terms of what this huge mystery is meant to allude to, we know it has something to do with the collision between the digital and physical worlds that occurs during the current state of the story. Meaning we definitely have more information coming regarding what evil manifestations are meant to emerge from it. A big aspect characterizing the entirety of our new game expectations is obviously going to be the physical date that the game is meant to launch which we now know. We're told in the official teaser that the game is set to come out around the later half of 2023, but there was no actual date specified that would give us a better understanding of when its release is meant to be. Rumor regarding this big mystery lands us at the speculation hidden at the PAX West convention booth for Help Wanted 2. We know there happens to be a clock off in a little corner displaying the 923 that might have something to do with the date. I steal Will's way of saying this is when it's finally gonna come out. But we know that in contrast to this, there's actually been employees at this same very booth who have pushed the speculation further down the line. Due to the fact the actual PlayStation state of play is meant to happen sometime soon regarding more potential revealed gameplay. If anything, we'd be able to attribute this mystery date to that instead. In terms of the actual, more realistic answer given to us by some of the production team, we have the rumor of December specifically to work with. This is what I was told to be the actual word going around regarding when things would be more polished, as the original teaser didn't even come out too long ago in comparison to the actual game drop, meaning it'd make more sense that the later date brings us out to December, the literal end of the year. Another big aspect set to make a return not many fans are aware of is the involvement of Foxy. Foxy throughout more recent FNAF installments has been somewhat of an untouched upon element that makes us question his role in the Security Breach game specifically. But we know for the second VR game, we have the return of some of his elements set to tease his potential portrayal here. This little easter egg is something we're able to find in the Moon Carousel minigame I was talking about that has us fighting off the dark side of Eclipse with a flashlight while making certain repairs on a carousel. 
This specific carousel also happens to feature a pirate ship themed cart, which if you didn't know is the exact same theme we see associated with Foxy's character throughout virtually every game he's branded in. It's even directly spelled out for us in one of the book parallels that describes a wooden fox pirate found on a carousel. Even the previous help wanted shows Pirate Foxy ready to take us through a minigame, pointing to a potential role of more of his branding style for whatever reason. An easter egg we see from FNAF Help Wanted 2's preceding game, Ruin, might just be another huge element meant to tie into our VR project. It takes the form of a big Fredbear cutout found in the Mimic's layer area that actually has a big connection to Help Wanted 2's main theme with the use of the ice cream cones we find here. The file's name in this bad boy, Freddy's 70s Ice Cream, which could have something to do with the exact way Baby is portrayed with the ice cream cones. In addition, if this cutout was one of the elements meant to tie into our carnival theme, which likely could have been the entire early origin story for the franchise, we know this would connect it to Help Wanted 2 as well. The same carnival theme laid out for us in Ruin with the in-game easter eggs is something we're now able to connect to Help Wanted 2, after all. Meaning we're left with the question of how this early Fredbear's element would even come into play. Scott Calton himself revealed that our FNAF games going forward are meant to be further in the timeline rather than the past, but that they're also meant to clue us in on the earlier timeline mysteries, which could have something to do with this very cutout, if you think about it, which time period wise at least connects us to another big aspect that'll reveal what to know about the lore side of things, the actual time period in which this game is meant to take place. Although I've seen it thrown out there, we can pretty significantly conclude that this sequel isn't meant to come before the original VR game in the timeline. Help Wanted directly ties into Security Breach, then later down the line, we get Ruin, with Ruin elements tying us to the end of the DLC specifically. Notice how the same dropping elevator sequence is perfectly mirrored in the actual Help Wanted 2 sequence, as if the potential for it to continue right off of Ruin's big fat to be continued sign is in the cards after all. And continuing on, if you didn't know, one of the more secretive elements of FNAF Help Wanted 2 is the inclusion of the hallway room that was presented to us in Help Wanted's original game, this time around presenting us with a different antagonist than Plustrap, who more strongly resembles Biddy Bab or toy proxy in the leak. And this is the same room connecting us back to the main FNAF 4 location that we see tied together through the sister location bunker map. I mean, there's clearly similarities between them by using your eyeballs. And our current FNAF story even suggests similar FNAF 4 elements are meant to be cleared up in FNAF Help Wanted 2, which could mean the potential of more FNAF 4 elements. The whole story around these elements makes a comeback in the form of explaining what actually happened during those FNAF 4 experiments, meaning it could very well tie into answers provided to us in connecting minigames, which leads us to more secrets you're gonna wanna know about to dive into the mystery of this upcoming game. We have so much more of what to expect in this video right here.